Smith's problem, we're asked to verify that the critical points of F are non-degenerate and to classify the critical points. So our function f of x, y is given to us as y squared plus x natural log of y minus x plus e times y. So first we want to uh, calculate what the uh, critical points are. So we'll take the partial derivative of f with respect to x. We get the natural log of y minus 1. Calculate the partial derivative of f with respect to y. And we get 2y plus x over y plus e. So we want to set the gradient vector equal to 0, which means each of, these, each of its components are 0, which are the partial derivatives with respect to x and y. So if we let these equal to 0, we see that we can solve the first one in terms of for y. So we get natural log y is equal to 1, which is when y is equal to e. And now we can plug in our value for y into our second equation. So we get so we get 2e plus x times e to the negative 1 plus e is equal to 0. or negative 3e is equal to x times e to the negative 1. Multiply both sides by e. We get that x is equal to negative 3 times e squared, and y was e. So we have one critical point again, where x is where x is negative 3 times e squared and y is e. So if we plug this into our function, we get that our function's value is e squared minus 3e squared times the natural log of e. Natural log of e is just 1, so we can just let it be negative 3e squared, and then add 3e squared plus e squared. We see that 3e squared minus 3e squared is 0, and we get just 2e squared. So our critical point on a graph would be at the point negative 3e squared e 2e squared. Now we want to verify that this critical point is non-degenerate, which means that our Hessian, the determinant of the Hessian matrix is non-zero. And then we'll classify the critical point based off of what the determinant tells us. So for the Hessian matrix, we need the second partial derivatives. So partial derivative of f sub x with respect to x is 0. Partial derivative of f sub x with respect to y is 1 over y. And we'll verify that that's the same as the partial derivative of f sub y with respect to x, which is also 1 over y. So that checks, and we want the partial derivative of f with respect, or f sub y with respect to y is, is equal to 2 plus, 
or 2 minus x over y squared, and then a constant. So we have 2 minus x over y squared, and we'll evaluate our Hessian matrix at our critical point, which is negative 3e squared comma e. So we have f sub x, x is still 0. f sub x, y is 1 over e. And f sub y, y is 2 plus 3 times e squared over e squared which is equal to 5. So we want to calculate the determinant of our Hessian matrix. So our determinant is going to be f sub x, x times f sub y, y minus f sub x, y squared. So we have zero times five, which is zero, minus e to the negative two, negative e to the negative two, which is obviously less than zero. And since our determinant is non-zero, we know that our critical points are non-degenerate. And since it's less than zero, we know that our critical point is a saddle. So we say that f has a crit, uh, saddle point at f or at x y equals negative three e squared comma e.